wanted on this on the uh, the, the red ink that you guys all re you know referenced there. Uh, how how do you, you avoid that? I mean, I see even if you could enforce this this cap, you'd be at uh, cutting a hundred billion dollars a year. Uh, you've got a 1.3, 1.4 trillion dollar deficit. I mean, how, what are you actually going to cut? Are you willing to go in and start cutting entitlements, which is of course where the real money is? You cannot. If we're going to deal with deficits and we're going to be honest with the American people, uh, we have to cut spending. And we need real economic growth in America that puts more Americans back to work caring for themselves and caring for their families. And you can't have real economic growth in America uh, if you insist on raising taxes on the American people. There are a lot of specifics in this package on cutting spending and getting rid of the red ink. Um, but there are not very many specifics in here about how you would actually get to the balanced budget if you do plan to extend all the tax cuts and expand defense spending. And um, again, just to follow up on, on the previous question, there's, there are really no specifics on what you would do about Social Security and Medicare, which are some of the biggest drivers of deficit spending. So could you give us some more detail on exactly how you could fulfill these pretty big promises? And spending caps don't seem like they would do it. Well, I think it's pretty clear that by, by having a spending cap uh, at 2008 levels, we can save $100 billion a year. That's $1 trillion over the next 10 years. Uh, when it comes to dealing with uh, the entitlement programs, uh, I've made it pretty clear. Uh, it's time for us as Americans to have an adult conversation with each other about the serious challenges that face our country. Uh, I don't have all of the solutions, uh, but I believe that if we work with the American people, uh, the American people will want to work with us uh, to come to grips with these challenges uh, that face our country. 